We're never going to be able to have a reliable product if we can't have a way to test it. The Treadlebot we built originally to test the ideas that we had. We would stick them on the Treadlebot, the Treadlebot would run you know, all day long and, uh, and break them. When things break on Treadlebot, we want to know that they are breaking in the same way that they will break when there is a farmer treadling on it in the field. So this is last year's Treadlebot design, and one of the big things that um, we'd like to improve is that it doesn't really mimic what a human does. Um, it's pulling down from underneath the treadles, and that's actually a little bit different from putting force down on the treadles themselves. So we're gonna try to redesign the system so you actually have something like feet coming down on top of the treadles rather than things yanking down from below. Time delay, time delay, time delay, bend away. Who are the needing a bit of the new medicine? Lee Arthur Nehawan, Lee Salinari solution, do it around and these are the bone and eat it. Now, do a cool you one. I do bone and you and these are saying that. Down here are the treadle feet. They're meant to be like human feet. This is a shock absorber that absorbs some of the power of the piston so you get a nice smooth motion. And then you kind of move up here. These would be like the, the leg muscles of a human. Um, and these are pneumatic cylinders. And air comes into each cylinder and it causes the piston to go down. And then air comes into the other cylinder and that piston goes down. I do a blue. The reason we put so much effort into testing is because we realize that to get something 80% of the way only takes 20% of the effort. To actually get it 100% of the way, that last 20%, getting things really, really right, not just kind of right, that takes most of the efforts of the development project. And that's really important to us because we want good products.